Ah, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to be assimilating some fools. That sounds like a good way to go, doesn't it? That's not loud enough. It is now. There we go. And dipping in and out of Sins mods over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's been between this and Thrawn's Revenge 2. Uh, Armada 3 is definitely more complete. I think that Thrawn's Revenge 2 is still a bit... It's got a couple of bits that need finishing. I, I don't think, like, the last two factions are all that well fleshed out. It's good, though. I, I think, like, um, Thrawn's Revenge 2 probably changes the game a lot more than this does. It, it does try to get away from the Sins model... Like, it's far more, there's a lot more emphasis on capital ships and fighters and stuff like that, which I think is pretty cool. But, I gotta say, the polish and the completeness of Armada 3 is just fucking awesome, and let's be honest, we haven't had a good Star Trek game in quite some time. I'm gonna go with a, uh, a medium-sized map, I think, just go random with it. I don't think Outlaw Sector is worth probably. There's a recent DLC that was added to Sins, which is crazy because the game's been out for years. They put some new stuff in it. And it's called Outlaw Sectors. And it's got this idea that there's like militias that will repopulate certain places. Pirates have been completely reworked. But I think with this mod, it doesn't really work the way it's supposed to because the last time I tried it, I ended up with masses of neutral ships that had just kind of joined me for no reason and it was really strange really weird i don't think that was the way it was supposed to be i don't think i was supposed to have like 300 neutral pirate ships on my side that doesn't sound right somehow all right uh, okay let's die and we'll play borg who are a I don't know, our Borg OP, kinda, they're sort of designed that way, they're, they're quite slow to really get going. If I play against hard enough UI, it should be fine. Borg is a very strange, like, race to put in any game because of how powerful the Borg are canon, unless you ignore Voyager, which you should, because Voyager's silly. But they are very cool to play. Alright. I want to kind of set it up so the AI can team up against me, but are also kind of going to fight a little bit. I don't necessarily want to put, like... I mean, with hard AI in this game, I think I'm going to be outproduced anyway, so I don't really want to team them together. But you can give them the option. Yes, it Sins is worth it just for the mods, really. Like, as a base game, it's pretty good as well. There's a lot to it. It's mostly a combat-focused, like, 4X, though. It, there's not, like, a lot of depth to any of the other game mechanics, I suppose. Like, if you're looking for a game that's got a great degree of non-combat stuff in it, it's not that game. Like, building up planets is fairly basic and quick on purpose. Research is relatively in-depth. They have, like, an entire expansion that does diplomacy. I, I don't know if they've ever really... I don't know how... Their diplomacy model's a bit strange. Because <laughs> it mostly seems to involve build a bunch of envoy ships, send them at your opponent, and they get shot at until they don't get shot at. Like, the ships are sort of making diplomatic overtures, but they're getting shot at in the process, which is really fucking weird. I don't know. It's strange. Alright. Scout cubes. Go and investigate. Go find me somewhere. Thank you very much. Alright, we need a capital ship. Uh, I believe Trapezoid is the only thing we can start with, which is strong enough. Okay, let's look at logistics. Let's see where we need to go. Okay, we'll go with... Uh, get the adaptation matrix up, so that's like the first... There's two kinds of research, adaptation and assimilation. Which are, again, very similar to the original game in that way. We need to probably pop up the logistical development here as well. And probably need to get, like, a few interceptors. Let's have a look at what research to go with. So, as it stands, obviously, we can't get either. But once we get this up... Hmm, do I want to get that initially? I do like collective experience. That's a pretty good one. It lets me 
train up uh, my capital ship initially with a new skill. It makes things a little easier. Yeah, it is kind of hard to make a playable Borg in any game and still have them be... This still have them make sense. Because they're supposed to be so implacably hard to kill. Alright, this is probably where I'm going to go. So there's a lot of ships there, but they're fairly light. Yeah, they're all sort of light raiders, so... A standard capital ship, maybe with a couple of frigates as an escort, should be able to take that out without too much of a problem. So we'll just drop a couple of interceptors into the build queue. Oh, I can increase the speed a little bit. I, I really like what they do with entrenchment. The star base system in this game is super cool. It's because of the amount of customization you've got. <laughs> also like this. Negotiation is irrelevant. It's like the research for diplomacy literally doesn't exist for the Borg because they're like, no. Obviously not. Grab a similar planet. We're going to go grab this moon. So that's my capital ship. That's my first one anyway. I like the model quality in Armada as well. It's second to none. I think only Thrawn's Revenge 2 has as good model quality as this. Very well rendered. Yeah, there is no Borg diplomacy. That's purposely left out. And it makes sense, because really, like, in the end game, the Borg are very, very hard to kill. Alright, let's... Let do, do develop the planetary logistics a little bit. We've got one adaptation node. Already got one, you know, one shipyard's enough to start with. Generally, like, shipbuilding's quite slow for Borg, but they're quite powerful. We've got one adaptation node. I'm going to get a tactical one as well. As obviously, I'm looking to get some research for that too. That would give me access to the Dodecahedron, which is like a fairly small sort of frigate class vessel, probes. And also that, which buffs up the hit points and stuff like that. I mean, most mods are non-official, right? The thing is, like, for Star Trek, uh, the, the licensing for Star Trek is actually interesting because they're quite generous. The company that owns the rights to Star Trek is very generous with allowing that IP to be used in mods as long as it's not for profit. Like, they're very fan film um, oriented as well, which is why there's so many of them, like fan series and fan films. So you got to give them credit for that. They're, they're definitely a lot less hostile than Disney is with Star Wars, let me put it that way. Although, as to whether or not that's going to change with the new CBS release of the new Star Trek series, I don't know about that. Hopefully not. Alright. People want to consume Star Trek-based media, and there's not a lot of it, so you might as well let other people make it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not harming you in any way. Alright, with only light dudes here I should have no problem just like assimilating the planet and not getting it bombed immediately that should be fine like I said they they can't do a lot of damage to that it, the ball capital ships initially are just super tough compared to every other capital ship that anybody else can build initially but they are very expensive and slow to build species I mean, even our basic interceptors have 2,000, like, almost 3,000 HP, which is pretty ridiculous. So, they're going to do a pretty good job of beating that stuff up. Shouldn't have any problems there. Alright, we need uh, to mine, so we're going to fill the dilithium and trilithium node mines, get all that sorted out. What I want to do for this planet, it's an arboreal moon. It's relative. Max population 20%, so, you know, not... Probably pretty good for... We need basically a place to build like, more research stuff so we can get technology. Okay. Tier 2 adaptation. There we go. Those little cruisers aren't going to do much to me. Have I used all my logistics slots? 24, yeah. So I've got everything I can here. Okay. Research-wise, let's see what we can do. So if I go up to tier 2 there, that gets me the interlink node, that's... It transmits the Borg signal everywhere, so that sort of increases loyalty and gets you more money. And then you get resource sharing as well. I will say about like this mod, some of the things are not as well explained as they could be. Like this idea of resource sharing, for instance, allows sharing of resources between the Unimatrix elements of the Collective. Yeah, what does that actually mean, though? <laughs> I, I don't actually know. 
But we also need resource nodes as well. That's a fairly expensive bit of research, but we can just about afford it once I get a little bit more Dalithium in there. Since is weird, because like once you really get going with it, it, it's definitely not a game you can play slowly. Alright, what do we want? Harvesting device? So that I think that gives me money. As far as I know. Siege beam, collective coordination, that's a nice little buff. Siege beam is for blowing up planets, which I'm not so interested in right now, because I'm not, I'm not going to run into planets that are actually populated by anything, as it stands. It's a tiny little ship just going after it. It's a bit crazy. Alright. Someday I'll look at Hitman. Yeah, I will. I mean, I'm not like the world's biggest Hitman fan, because... It's a stealth game, and I'm really bad at those. I don't know if you've realized that. I'm terrible at stealth games. So that does tend to influence my decision to play them. We'll research Dodecahedron as well, just so we can get some of those. I was wondering what the soundtrack is. My last of them does work now. <laughs> I did get that fix. The... Software which outputs the information from FUBAR in a way that can be read by XSplit keeps breaking. It's very, very old software. That's the problem. It's like 15 years old. So I don't know a better way of doing that yet. That's an anti-fighter destroyer. Okay, so we can build those. Uh, usual problem of sins. You're usually very short initially on the crystal resource, which in this case is dilithium. So that's kind of why you want to buff up dilithium specialization so that you can mine it faster as quickly as possible and grab a couple of planets that have dilithium mines. I probably like it. I mean, I've, I've, I've enjoyed to some extent the Hitman games. Um, I'm just really not very good at them. I do like the degree of choice you've got of them, I've got to say. I'll go grab that moon. There's no reason not to have it. It's only defended by a couple of ships. My apologies. Additional acquired. Proceed to sector. Can add our additional ships into that as well. Was it control F to make a fleet? Or was it shift F? It's shift F. Okay, there we go. Oh, our fleet come. Really like the capital ship is enough on its own to take it out, but it does speed things up a little bit if you've got some other little ships along with it. Yeah, I, do, I just I never got around to playing it. I didn't want to play it initially because of the like how incomplete it was and i know on release it wasn't very good performance wise but yeah i do need to play it now that it's more complete it, i just i need to get around to it there's a lot of things i still need to play i still haven't played stellaris what I, here's here's what i need for stellaris right i need someone to sit down with me and just teach me how to play it uh, because i've tried to learn it like twice now and failed miserably every time it's a very their the tutorials, at least when I played it, are very text-heavy, which I don't learn well off text-heavy tutorials. I learn well off voice. So, the fact that it doesn't have a voice tutorial is a bit of a kick in the ass to me. That, that causes me problems. I just find it really hard to learn otherwise. Should we get some more interceptors? Yeah, I'll just get get a few more to add to the fleet so we can start bulldozing through these neutral worlds a bit quicker. But yeah, I just need someone to teach me. Well, once I've got someone to teach me, I'll be I'll be good with it. It's only a it's only a little little crystal moon, but it's better than nothing, Dalithium wise. It's fine, we can sort of put a can put a couple of things in there, get get maybe a, another research area here as well. Let's go for these resource nodes as well, don't we? So resource nodes, I assume, are just uh, buffed to overall mining rate. So I'll put one here and I'll see if that's true. Yeah, I mean, I could, e I could ask one of those YouTubers, but... It's more a case of, like, I am wasting your time. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be disrespectful of their time. They've got jobs just like I do. They're going to make content. Wow, that's actually a really strong ability. So the Dodecahedron by default is something called Fracture Armor. Uh, minus two armor and increased damage taken over second is actually pretty good, especially for mowing through those tougher ships that take 
a lot of stuff in Sins of a Solar Empire takes a long time to kill. And this mod is sort of no exception to that, at least until you get to the late game, get a lot of stuff going with you. There we go. Alright, so the resource node is done. So, one assumes now... Okay, so you click Collection Focus. That collects resources and suspends distribution. What what does the suspend distribution mean? I'm not 100% sure. So you think that that would, like, act as a refinery? You know, I'm going to look this up and see if like, there's any documentation for this, because I really want to know, like, what that does. As I'm building it, and I'm thinking, well, what what is this for? In the original game, there's just something called a refinery. You build that, and it increases the amount that each uh, asteroid mines up to a total, I think, of three. But I know that at least one race has a refinery that can switch between modes. So I just want to know what it does. I think this might be um, a shared... It might be a replacement for trade. Because obviously Borg wouldn't trade. Uh, Star Trek Armada 3. Borg. What's it called? A distribution node? Borg distribution nodes. <laughs> what do they do? Collection focus just works just fine. But switching over to distribution focus doesn't spawn resource allocators. Which makes the mode mostly useless. That was a thread. I don't know what they do. <laughs> yeah, the the documentation for this is a bit of a problem, really, as far as I know. Like, this, I don't know if there's just a straight up manual for it that tells you what everything does. Is there? I'm looking to see if that's true. There's an open beta guide, but I think that's a guide to the process of actually running it, not a manual for the game itself. Yeah, I, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, it's probably trading between planets. So the, I guess we don't want distribution focus, do we? We want just collection. You'd think it would that the UI would then tell you that it's uh, up on its refinery quota, but evidently not. I mean, I'm going to assume it's helpful, <laughs> at least. Pretty sure of that anyway. All right, so again, we'll probably just do... We could put an interlink node there. Because Allegiance is currently really low, and we need something to start distributing that and get the Allegiance up so we can make more resources. Indeed, we are. Uh, let's grab Logistical Development, and then we'll go for another Assimilation node as well. So I can keep doing the research. I do want to get up to level I can get some better capital ships than this. <coughs> Oh, how did... I think it's, uh... Yeah, you got to get to level 3 before you can get... I think I can already reach that. Actually, maybe not. Not quite there yet. But we can research the obelisk. Probably grab dense superstructures that... The early upgrades for Borg give you a lot of initial armor. Which is nice. Just gonna turn this on so my friend notifications stop popping up. There we go. Initial armor's good, because you go up against the weaker ships, then you're just not gonna take any hits. That planetoid over there looks like it's worth capturing. Resource sharing is the normal automated trade ships. Okay, so that means you would need more than one of those, right? Otherwise it doesn't do anything. So if I build another resource mode node here. Alright, you go eat those alive for a little bit. I mean, these guys are actually pretty tough. You do you can run into some really nasty stuff around here that can actually blow your ships up. Capital ship would probably stay alive, but the the smaller ships are gonna get eaten. I'm gonna quickly grab level two of assimilate planet, which is nice. Like getting a capital ship that has a colonization function is good, mainly because it actually buffs the planet up significantly. You can also get research that will make it even better. We get the ball queen if we want. That would probably help.
Sounds like a way to go. Alright, let's have a quick look at where to go. Probably need to grab some colonization stuff. We've got two out of two in that. We've got our resource node right here. So is it res it's got to be resource sharing, right? We actually need this. And, and otherwise, the those nodes aren't going to do anything. I think. <laughs> that, that's the problem with some of those these mods, that they just don't c clearly explain what their changes are. And you've got to sort of make assumptions. I'm going to retarget that one, because that, that one's almost dead, and I don't really want to keep taking too much damage. There we go. It's going to go up in flames in a second. I will say both Armada and uh, Thrawn's Revenge 2 also run really well. A lot of Sins mods have performance problems that is not well optimized. I mean, it is a fairly old game that was designed not necessarily with multicore in mind. But some of the mods just drag the game down into an absolute crawl. Which a real-time game is a problem. Alright, our Borg Queen should uh, pop up in a minute. And we can use her. Alright, we've got to pop... We got kind of lucky with this start, I think. I haven't run into too many planets that I can't colonize yet. There we go, get some of that. And we'll grab a resource node for them as well. Again, it's a planetoid. I'm not going to put a lot of population on it. I would love an, a new proper armada, though. Like, I think armada... Not so much Armada 2, but the original Star Trek Armada was a really good RTS. It's it's really solid. It had some really interesting ideas behind it, and was also like very easy to access and control. Borg balance was off. They made the Borg basically just the same as everybody else, so... That's a thing, though. It's like, how do you make the Borg balanced and simultaneously as unbalanced as they should be? Carbonaceous planet. I might as well grab that as well. I mean, there's no reason for us to not just expand quickly at the moment, because there's not really a lot threatening us yet. Alright, let's grab civic infrastructure there, just so it's so we're losing money from these planets. You don't get tax, per se, but it's a, there's a lot of resource development coming in. We'll look at specializations later. Alright, we should have the Borg Queen, I think, now, and we get a Pyramid if we want. It's pretty strong. Speaking of Armada... <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. That was actually a little bit of the soundtrack of the original Armada game, which I thought was kind of neat. Okay, let's get a unified architecture just so we can speed up our building a little bit. Uh, Dalithium is coming in a bit faster now, which is good. We're not quite there yet. Need a little bit more. So a few more ships over here. I'm just going to go straight and assimilate that. <laughs> Weirdly enough, they actually do try and uh, be diplomatic to you. It's like, no, I'm the Borg. F screw you. Yeah, they're just the energy allocators moving between them. So that's the basically is right now anyway is acting like trade. That's my understanding of it. And that, that so that means you're gonna get more credits. But if I switch it to the other mode, I think it's gonna increase the mining rate of the stuff around it. Which is only really relevant in a system which has got really rich mining available. And most of these planets I've taken so far don't. They've just got a couple of little small asteroids. So I think just leaving it as it is is uh, with the trade is the way to go right now. I think, anyway. There we go. Let's set the trading off. Now that we've got resource nodes in multiple systems, it's kind of worth it. We need to summon the Borg Queen. I can't quite remember how you do that. Oh, we also have, like, one constructor that can make a unicomplex. Which, if I recall correctly, is like a star base, right? Where would I want to build that? Probably to defend my main world. I mean, it's accessible from three sides, which is not ideal. And then we could use that maybe to buff up a few other things. So let's put our, let's put our unit complex over there. Our first one is free, I believe. I think I need to increase uh, the amount of fleet capacity I've got, because otherwise I can't bring the queen in. So get drone one, and then grab logistics one as well. Then I think I can build it. Let's research in the pyramid, right? Oh, the pyramid's actually a cruiser. 
Uh, so that's a heavy cruiser. Medium range heavy cruiser. It's pretty tough. We'll build three of those. Buff our fleet out a little bit. Because I think we're using mostly cheap ships at the moment, which are not really getting very far. Alright, got that. So uh, let's get our mining nodes out of that. Additional technology acquired. There we go. So that's increased our command. Might as well sell a bunch of that and get second command level. That is one of the ways that they restricted just having too many massive fucking capital ships. Why are you not shooting at stuff? Maybe, you know, you might want to actually fight. Oh, they're fighters. I don't... I think I'm actually having a real problem shooting them. I think all my anti-fighter stuff died. So I'm not sure my... I don't think my weapons can hit them. So we might need a couple anti-fighter ships. There we go. I can probably summon the Borg Queen now. A couple of pyramids. They are strong. Six and a half thousand HP each. And that's it without buffs. There, there, there she is. She's showing up now. There's the Borg Queen. So we'll go just go straight on buff with that. Alright, well you can go say hello to them then. I mean, so far so good. We haven't really run into anything that's a massive threat yet. Just getting a decent amount of trade running on all of these. Like another interlink node up. And then we can get one more research station in here as well, I think. I don't think may many of these places are going to make a lot of money for trade-wise because they're not very big. It's always been a bit weird the way that they do the... They do a specialization system in this game where you can specialize between either social or industry. Weird thing is you'd think that you'd make more trade revenue if you had a large population, right? I don't believe that's actually how it works. You make more tax revenue that way. But if you pick one, it sort of screws over the other. Which is a bit odd. Also, expanding a little bit too fast and it's killing my income right now because I haven't developed these worlds properly. Oh, a Ninth Order Scout just showed up. Yeah, that's not going to get very far. We are one. Off you go. Make sure she gets trained up a little we bit locate. extra. Alright, that's the max logistics we're going to get there. Yep. So we can't really build anything else good. State objective. So we'll grab level two of that. Alright, what do we got in the fleet? So there's three pyramids, three interceptors, a trapezoid, and a Borg Queen. Yeah, that'll kill pretty much anything. Ooh, that is a much better looking planet. We should go take that. That's an industrial planet with five asteroids on it. It's fairly well defended, but with what I've got, it shouldn't be a problem. Not massively worried about that. Just going to spend a little bit of time improving these planets to make sure they're not draining me of resources. Actually making me some money instead. Now, I believe I built that unit complex. Did it get finished? Yeah, there we go. So that's a space station. So I can make upgrades to that. But I believe with the Borg, it's just you. the upgrades are very, very basic. It increases, like, everything it does. You don't have the customization. They're all the same, basically. Which makes sense, thematically. Making a decent amount of cash, which is why I'm thinking we need another capital ship. But I want something that's not a trapezoid. I want something else. Which means I need to research it. And let's see. Tactical Sphere. That would do it. We'll research the Tactical Sphere, and then we can build one of those. Once we've got the money for it, 4,000 credits. And a... Bunch of dilithium also required. At least that dilithium issue isn't too much of a factor anymore. We've got a good amount of that going on. Just need to buff everything up income-wise here, don't we? There we go. What happened to my crossfade? Damn music. I used to have the ability to do that, and I can't quite remember exactly what I did with it. Alright, how are we doing over here? 
Oh, it's a decor class marauder. You're gonna get blown the fuck out. It was interesting that, like, in the next generation, the decor was like, oh my god, this is such a huge threat, it could take out a galaxy class. And now it's like, no, this is kind of rubbish. They are pretty strong, though. They were fairly well armed. Also need a nut. Shield drain torpedoes. So, yeah, that's just melted. No big surprise there. Assimilate the planet. There's a Ferengi trade port over there. I don't even know what that does. Probably nothing. Alright, we have an industrial planet. That's worth a lot of money, so we want to build it up as that. So we probably want... Let's see. I mean, it's got to be resource nodes, isn't it? I can't see what else it would be. Because you want to just mine the shit out of it. And then maybe you could get... Maybe we could build ships there as well. If it's going to be industrial specialization, is that the best way to go? So industrial specialization is what? Ship build rate and trade income. So yeah, you probably want to build at least one shipyard here, just so that you can get your stuff out a little bit faster. There we go. Now as for the rest of this stuff, well that's just going to die. Alright, we got good cash coming in right now, so let's get that tactical sphere, I think. Capital ship, tactical sphere. If I recall correctly, those are really fucking hard to kill. They just regenerate over and over again. Make sure we get a little bit of that. We are super short on that. Let's make sure we increase what we get out of that. We're going to grab efficient distribution as well. But that means I need another research place. I'm just making sure that I've filled all of these places out as much as I can. Yeah, that's as logistically large as it can be. Oh, what do we got? Oh, it's just a scout. All right, don't have to worry too much about that. That only has eight logistics slots. That can be increased. And that means we can grab another adaptation node there and get our research a little higher. Is the sphere done? Is the research done on the sphere yet? Because the interesting thing about Sins is you can do stuff before it's finished. In terms of research, you can queue it. But sometimes you forget, oh, I actually don't have that yet. In this case, we do have it, though. The Increase our ship build speed just a little bit. I think I think it's hiding up down there. Yep, there it is. That's a... There we go. Tactical Sphere. This has nanite consumption, which seems like it just eats a bunch of stuff. Feedback pulse, absorb fire, and obliterate. We'll grab uh, feedback pulse for the time being. It's so like, on your own, you could probably take that Shattered Moon out. There's actually eight Aceton Assimilators there, so maybe not. Might have to build a few ships to help it out, at least. Build a few pyramids. Couple anti-fighters along with that. Need to increase the amount of uh, metal I'm bringing in. We'll see how the guy does on its own, but I think, like, Acetone Assimilators are relatively strong. It might take a little bit to kill them. Seems to be doing pretty well so far, though. Okay, maybe they're not as strong as I initially thought. But yeah, I want to take that over, if possible. Okay, we have access to this. What is that ship? Police frigates. Yeah, I would not want to be here right now if I were you. Negotiation is it's probably a good idea not to be at all. 
All right, so we're making money here. We're mining. Activate all outposts. We wish to improve ourselves. It's like, can you actually like steal this trade port? I think we, yeah, we actually did. I think, yeah, it belongs to me now. So I actually have a Ferengi trade port that I assume I assimilated. People are still inexplicably trading with, not realizing that, oh yeah, there's Borg here. Oops, probably don't want to be here at all. Maybe a bad idea. There's more interceptors in there. I had to send the trapezoid up. Probably just on its own, actually because it needs to go take that planet. The rest of the stuff can stick around. These police frigates are not going to last very long. I'll just build a bunch more ships here. I need to start getting... I need to get the trans warp so that they can... Just warp across the galaxy and not worry too much about anything. Oh, my stuff isn't relatively quick as it is. Alright. Got a bunch more cash. Spend, spend, spend. Beam amplification. Increase that. Uh, research unit complex. Research trans warp gate. So I can start warping around the bloody place like a crazy person. Sounds like a good idea. Efficient distribution. More money, more money, more problems. To Stay Sounds like a way to go. All Accidentally sent my whole fleet over there, didn't I? Yeah, pretty much. That's a lot of trade chips now. We're making money hand over fist here, which we kind of are. Let's have uh, one of these set up to collect instead of trade so that we can increase mining. Ah, oh, now, now I see. Like, now it's got the resource focus rate increase, so... Cool. All right, that, I think that system sort of makes a degree of sense now. Ish. Could be better explained in the documentation. That's that. Increased industry, industry, industry. Buy a bit more titanium. Mine the shit out of this place. Apparently sitting in this nebula is a really bad idea. It hurts everything. I only wanted this ship to go there. I didn't want my entire fleet to go, but whatever. off the rest of the fleet, let's head it over here, right? We're just trying to clear these systems out. I'm surprised I haven't run into the AI yet. I just thought I would have by now. I'm not exactly too worried about these guys' ability to kill me. Can we upgrade this yet? Yes, if I have a thousand Tritanium, which I don't. But I could. There we go. Don't have the prerequisites. Oh, because I'm fucking researched it. Of course not. That would be why, then. Let's get that mining rate up. Mining rate up. Not an interesting research, but an important one. And then maybe we can look at upgrading these. We should also build that as well so we can repair stuff. Alright, it's there. You go colonize that. Cool. Mine it. Mine the hell out of it. We could build so many mines here. And then all we're going to do, I think, is put resource development here and just mine the fuck out of it in every way. We've got 12 logistics slots, which isn't very many. 
so we can get maybe like one or two resource nodes at most. But that will be... Actually, we can get three, which I think is like the maximum number that will actually make any difference at all. That's fine by me. I still find it hilarious that we took over the Ferengi trade port and it's actually still being used. That's adorably funny. Well, I say I think the resource collection is working. I can't be bloody sure because it doesn't seem to have increased the amount that, I, at least according to the UI, that's being mined here. So it's a bit weird. Where the fuck did you come from? You're not going to last very long, but hey. Let's get some more repair stuff. You have failed to give money. Yeah, it's funny that. It's almost as if the Borg probably wouldn't do that. Strange, I know. What a concept. Alright, so all these mines are up. So really, once these resource nodes are built, they just need to be set to buff the mines, and that's it, right? I think. A group of Sona Separatists is heading towards Avalisa. I don't think that's going to do much. Also, I don't think Avalisa is a system that I own, so I'm not really sure I care about that. Well, we know the... So the Klingons are over there, and they've apparently got a pretty fucking large fleet. My fleet's relatively small, comparatively. But we can very easily and quickly change that. Can't remember. Where did I put my fleet construction plate? There, there we go. That's where most of my frigates are being built. The cruisers. We need the ability to have more stuff in our fleet. Station construction. So let's build a bunch more pyramids. Like seven more of them. Taking over this planet. I have to do planetary exploration as well, find if there's any like artifacts lying around the place. Okay, these are built, so... Ideally, we want all three of these set to distribution focus. Or is it... I don't know which... Now, I assume... Yeah, that's it. So resource focus rate is up 9% now as a result of that. So I assume that's actually working as intended. It doesn't mine as m much extra as I thought, but it'll help. I think we'll use this new place. Yeah, that's increased the resource focus even more. Now they're up to 18%. There we go. Now they're really pulling it in. Cool, now we're in business. All right, I'm going to use this place, I think, to just build a bunch of research stations so that we can, like, massively increase tech very quickly and then just build what we need to win. Adaptation nodes or assimilation nodes. There's a bunch of assimilation nodes. Three assimilation nodes. There we go. Big, big increase. Let's uh, build a trans warp gate here as well. Because it's a bit far out, and then we can build one on the same planet as our shipyard, and then just warp ships directly across the galaxy. Do I have the logistical space to do that? Is there a research that would help me get there? Oh, it actually counts as planetary defense. It doesn't matter, does it? I can get a trans warp gate, and it doesn't even take up that space, so that's kind of wonderful. They're expensive, but that means you can just warp ships from one planet directly to another planet, regardless where it is, so you just put it next to your shipyard, and then everything kind of gets wonderful. Blow shit up. Ooh, 
there's actually enemy ships here, to some extent. We're finally going to run into some opposition, maybe. Don't know how well they're going to do. Okay, so I massively buffed up my military stuff now, so we can get better ships, like the diamond and the adapter. And get all the other buffs and stuff as well. Biosynaptic guidance. I don't know the hell if I know what that is. It's the kind of buffs that I think I needed in the first place. Should build a star base on one of those big trade hubs as well. So I can make a bunch more money. I assume industrial specialization doesn't actually increase the speed at which you mine, right? It's only trade and shipbuild, yeah? A bit weird it wouldn't increase that, but I guess maybe that's... If that were the case, you'd just put that on every planet. Alright, are the transwarp gates done? Did we finish those? I guess we... Yeah, we did. Okay, so I can... This should mean that if I click here, my fleet should just jump all the way across. I did build a transport gate here, right? No. Does it travel from gate to gate? Uh, nope. Yes, it does. Okay, so it, it's it's flying to Chandra. They're flying to Chandra because that's the nearest transport gate. Okay. Sensors made. Can we upgrade our unibases? Unicomplex thing. Sure. One other thing we should also build is a constructor for those. I can't remember exactly what you have to build to do that. Is it a planetary assimilator? No. Is it a something else entirely? Probably. Unicomplex assembler. That's what you build. Yeah, funny that. Because I want to build a, another starbase and probably put it down here. Because that could use defending. So that's where our main shipyards are and a lot of where our trade is coming in. I think I probably want to take the resource node and just have trade here. Because there's only like a couple of places it's mining from. Probably make a lot more money just by trading. The simulator, also a cube. Give me a cube. Cubes are fun. Let's grab those. We really should just go and eat something. We've got a decent sized fleet to do that. Let's go to that gas giant. It looks like there's something there. And in the meantime, we can make sure we rally new ships across with the transwarp gate and get, oh, I don't know, whatever we like. Probably some, more, some obelisks for bombardment would be good. Let's sell some of these resources, we don't need them. Get some more anti-fighter stuff. Oh, hello there. Alright, you've got a lot of stuff. This is the Cardassian place. We're going to blow them up. Uh, they have a capital ship here. It's not going to be enough to defend it, though. Unless they have another fleet that I don't know about. Let's go blow up their shit. There we go. And now these are all just warping right across the galaxy straight into my fleet, which is extremely handy. So assimilators are heavy support cruisers. Don't know what they can do exactly, but they're probably good, so we should have some. I'm going to explore that planet just to hopefully find something that will buff up the mining rate of this area. You never know, there might be something useful lying around.
How is the fight going over here? Put it down well because they're not fighting. I actually have a bunch of defense platforms that we do kind of want to try and blow up. They're also broadcasting culture, which I'm not okay with because it's not my culture. And we're the Borg and horribly xenophobic like that, so you know, we might want to actually get that sorted out. I haven't developed this planet at all. What the hell am I doing? Let's actually get a bunch of interlink nodes here. And just say, hey, yeah, this is the this is the place where we broadcast our Borg culture from. You will buy Borg brand jeans. You will listen to Borg music. There we go, yes, your defense platforms are not that good. We can probably fight you. I'd say so. And now the little ships are doing just fine here. Now, if I recall correctly, I was building a unicomplex builder thingy. Did I leave it around here? I did. The question is, where is it? I thought I did. Did I not build one? I I that's I do hate that. I I am very good at just losing ships. It's like where did I put it? I fucking don't know. It's like it's probably somewhere here. The corner of this is only two ships there, and neither of them are a unicomplex constructor, so I guess not. I probably rallied it there and didn't realize. What do we got? The Borg Queen is here. Yeah, there's a Unicomplex assembler here. I thought there might be. There we go, so we can build our star base there. Probably should have graded them on the tier too. Still don't have the money for it. Well, that's a thing we can fix. Yep, does literally everything. Sounds good. I think they uh, want to fight. Yep, it seems like they do. I think they're uh, slightly peeved that we decided to attack them because that's their fleet over there. Pretty big, actually. That's a lot of Galar class battleships. That might be a problem. Alright, I need to bring the Borg Queen in then. I need everything over there ASAP. because they are sending a lot of shit our way. They have several capital ships, pretty high level. And I don't have my big stuff yet. I don't have a lot of spheres, which are, you know, it's usually kind of end game. You want a bunch of spheres. Because they're very tough. Grab ourselves a cube upgrade. I'm not sure my armor upgrades are up to par yet either, so... These are things we can improve. Well, their fleet's almost in contact. Let's see how we do. It's a big one. Ours is not bad either, but... It's like I look at the size of my fleet, and it is... Apparently my capital ship is really badly beaten up somehow. I'm not sure how that ended up happening. It's been targeted by the looks of it, that's why. Well, here... Oh my god, that was my capital just going up in flames, wasn't it? They targeted it, and it's gone. That's unfortunate, because I'd been developing that one. Alright, well, let's see if our fleet can actually fight them. It's entirely possible that they can't, because, like I said, that's a, actually a lot of really big, scary shit. But I do have something else also very big and scary. The question is, is big and scary enough? Because they're focusing down my interceptors pretty well. Yeah, I'm actually losing this fight. Time to leave. Time to leave. Get the fuck out. We need bigger ships. They have been not... They certainly have not been wasting their time over there. Let me put it that way. Okay, first things first. Uh, maybe a cube or three. Get a uh, capital ships. All right, let's get cube, 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 cube. 
Simulation cube. Maybe enough money for a second assimilation cube. We need bigger ships. Assimilators, probably. So how much of the fleet got out? Whoa, did I lose the whole lot? Oh, it's it's still... They're still trying to... Oh my god. They just got mugged. Fuck. Alright, time to leave. Immediately. We got totally destroyed. Yeah, they have a... Uh, lot of really strong stuff. Mistakes were made. I will admit to that. It's probably my fault for having a bunch of little ships and assuming they could take battleships on. They fucking cannot. Of course they cannot. Alright, we have a couple of cubes and then we could start working on some cruisers. It's mostly credits that are an issue at the moment. We're not quite making enough money. By your command. Okay, that's our second cube. So these have like 48,000 HP each, so they're pretty good. I don't think I got out there with anything. I think we're still trying to warp out. Pretty much. We need more ships and more money to build those ships. need one more research thing so I can just build spheres as well. The fuck is this music? <laughs> Let's try something else. Yeah, we'll probably need, uh, I think it's an armor issue. I think we just don't have enough armor on our ships, so they got cut to pieces. And also getting the, the hull point upgrade up is pretty good because by default, Borg ships have so much HP. So if you can get them just a little bit higher than that, the buff really helps. And then just get them a bunch of regeneration so they can't die. Also, if we built some more transwarp gates, then that would probably speed up our trade quite a lot. Because they'd be able to use those instead. Well, that's what got out of there. Not much. Our cubes are here now, at least. So that'll help. Don't rely on those, though. It's like, all right, you got a board cube. You can beat 50 ships, right? No, no, not really. Not if they focus you down. They do regenerate very well, and they are very strong, and they can hit a lot of stuff at the same time, but that doesn't mean they're invincible. They kind of are once you've got all the research for them, then they become pretty ridiculous, but not to this point, though. I didn't really pick a specialization here, did we? It's like, this is probably the one that's going to make the most money tax-wise, isn't it? So we should go social specialization. Some trade happens here, but not a great deal. Alright, I'm going to assume the unit complex is done here. It is. Maybe we can get it up to level 2. Nope, we need a thousand of that. We'll have it in a minute. And then we can increase the trade income right here. Something... Sh oh shit, they chased me. Uh-oh. They are all fucking over me. Did they just wipe me out? Oh no, it's because my fleet's here. Looks like they warped in here. 
Well, that's where all my cubes are, so if they want to pull that shit, then that's fine. We can fight here. That is not a problem. Fighting these dudes shouldn't be too tricky. Well, there's the rest of their fleet coming in. I guess we'll see how it goes. It's more of a case of, like, can I blow up their big capital ships? With cubes here, probably. I don't think their fleet's big enough to stand up against cubes. Send a bunch more ships across. Yeah, their fleet is not good enough to stand up against cubes. Good news. Well, bad news for them. Our little ships might get blown up, but they're replaceable. Capital ships, not so much. They did mow through that system and take it back, though. Half their fleet's there blowing up what's left of that. But they did lose most of their fleet here, so... They're going to get very assimilated very fast. Most of my little ships got blown up, though. But my capital ships will probably be able to hold up quite nicely. I'll just send in a few more torpedo ships across, and then everything should be fine. Speaking of... Where was I building those again? Have I just... Did I just lose... I lost my... What the fuck happened here? Oh, though, my God, they took it over with culture. Fucking... <laughs> I lost the planet due to cultural spread. Ah, my... Son of a bitch. Didn't I build a fucking star base there? How did that happen? There's a star base there with a unicomplex. How did I lose it to culture? <laughs> yeah, but, but basically it's a full-on rebellion. Uh, fuck. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna have to spread culture from here to take it back then. Or just blow it up. Fuck. I already have one interlink node there. I have to build a second one. Is that not strong enough to... It's evidently not. Well, I lost my industrial planet, which means I'm probably not making- I can't build any ships, and I'm not making any fucking money either. And I can't even colonize it. One of my vessels just went up in smoke. Please tell me that wasn't a cube. That- oh, no, it wasn't a cube. But that cube's about to go down. Oh my god, a cube just went up. Sir? Apparently we also stole a Gala class. Probably got- we assimilated it. This is bad! And on its own, that's not going to be enough. Let's get a regeneration node up, pull our position back. At least we, we managed to assimilate a couple of their ships, so that's helping. But my cube is taking a fucking beating. And my main shipbuilding facility has been stolen. All right, now I can take it back again because of this culture here. Shit. Okay, well, I need the only place I can build a... Well, let's build a trapezoid. Send it over there to take that fucking planet back. Ah, oh, yes, the place that I deliberately slowed down shipbuilding on because I thought I wouldn't need it anymore. My fucking mistake. Not good. The, oh god, they have another fleet. We lost all our shit. <laughs> That's terrible. Alright. That's really, really bad. We need new cubes. We need new everything. We're gonna lose that planet. Damn Cardassian bastards. Also means all of my research stuff's getting blown up, so that's not going to help. 
Transwarp gate's going up in smoke. Hell. Well, everything was going so well. It fucking isn't now. Can't call building these little things. And we're building super slowly. Alright, okay, let's get that trapezoid over there, assimilate the fucking planet, get it back. And then to start rebuilding ships. Proceed to sector. And that also means I can't research anything really high level anymore. Let's get regeneration quickly before they blow up everything. <laughs> this is bad news. Really bad news. Yeah, it fucking has. Which is amazing. But hey, I thought we had enough to fight that off. Evidently not. Well, at least we have a decent amount of resources. We can rebuild the fleet, at least once I have that uh, planet back. I'm more concerned they're just going to roll through the rest of my empire now before I can get everything running again. You go take that planet back now. Assimilate the planet. There we go. Planet is back up and that now we shouldn't lose it anymore, hopefully. That does mean all of the development that we put into it was completely fucked over. And this was sort of a trade and shipbuilding area, and we're going to have to build all of that up again. Which is going to cost a bunch of money and time, which I don't really have at the moment. Because as you may have noticed, my stuff has a tendency of exploding. A lot. What can we get that's tough enough to fight them? The stuff that we can mostly afford at the moment is pyramids. And even then, I'm a bit broke because I just lost two or three planets. Well, some of those cubes just got leveled up, so we need a few cubes and maybe a sphere in the mix. Level them up, get them a bunch of escorts, and then try and take that planet back. Seems like the only way to go. My cube's got there yet? No. I think that research that lets you use transwarp gates on unicomplexes. Okay, so we got that up to tier one. We're making a good amount of money again here now. So that's that. That's lovely. So what do we have? We have a few capital ships. Uh, oh, oh, my game started a little bit there. We've got Tactical Sphere, a cube. I thought I built more than one cube. It's maybe not there yet. I'm pretty sure I built more than one cube. A sphere. Basically not enough is the answer at the moment. But we can build more stuff now that we have this back. I also can't build simulators anymore because I lost too many research areas. So I think the best things we can build for fighting them anyway are, are pyramids. That's really all we can build that would stand up to ships like that for any length of time. Yeah, this is not a strong fleet. Not at all. Not in the slightest. And I don't think we finished the research into hull upgrades before my ship blew up as well. Yep, it's all frozen now as a result of that. That's bad news. I'd need to take over more. If I take over a few more planets, and I could use those. I 
planet to research Adaptation 3, and I can take over that planet and build my research there instead. Then everything should be fine. Well, I'm just very glad they haven't decided to come and attack me here yet. I think this place is going to be next on the chopping block. Let's get tactical development so at least we can build some defenses. Defense nodes. Oh, I mean, that will hold on for a little while. Not very long. What we need, really, there is a unit complex. We'll build a five defense nodes and a regeneration node behind it. That'll hold for a little while. Let me respond. Oh, my God. They decided to go there instead. Welp. Fuck, where's my fleet gone? Oh, they have already taken that area. F double fuck. All of these are bad things. This place is about to get fucking obliterated. Welp. And they're here as well. They're fucking everywhere. It was definitely my own fault for just, like, sitting on my ass and letting them attack me, but Jesus, come on. Why didn't I build more defenses? Well, what there is of my fleet is going to be heading over there in a minute. We'll chase that off, because they attacked here as well. There's defense nodes up here at least now. Had a unicomplex. I've got a unicomplex on my main area, so that shouldn't go down, but we should get another unit complex assembler up so we can get another star base. Oh my god, they were in the fucking nebula. And they're just jumping me in the nebula. Which is not in any way good. I don't know, who is like at, who's at least disad- I think they're at the most disadvantage here because uh, our sh Borg ships don't have shields and uh, theirs do. So their shields are actually going down, so it actually makes me think we should... Should we fight them here? No, is the straight answer, because my cube is just exploding. So, no. Uh, I think that's GG, actually. I don't think I could come back from this now. My capital ships are clearly not strong enough. They're getting blown to hell. That This fleet is so strong. Yep. We're done, I think. GG is the answer to that. Well, turns out the Borg aren't quite that good, are they? <laughs> At least not when they play by me. Fuck, that was hard. All right, I'm going to switch out games. I'm going to play something of uh, something else. I'm just going to take a few minutes. Uh, I'm just going to go get another drink, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 